Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the ninth Excel 2007 tutorial and today I'm going to give you an introduction to pivot tables and the first thing that I want to um, share with you is uh, I guess an overview of what a pivot table is. It's a, way of it's a way of summarizing your data by category and taking large large amounts of data and putting them into, uh, into, into a report format to be able to uh, summarize and categorize your, your fields. So in this case, I just put together a simple table. This is from a previous exercise that we did. Um, and I, I just have 90 rows in here, of 89 rows actually, of uh, car sales, right? Salesperson name, their HRID, the model they sold, price, and whether it's new or used, uh, the vehicle. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you take your data before you, before you make it into a pivot table, the best thing to do is make it, turn it into a table the best way to do that is to do insert, choose table, it will automatically, typically automatically choose the correct range for you. You have to say OK. One thing you'll notice is if I clicked over here in the open area, it probably wouldn't recognize the table. Click within the table that you want to create. Okay, so the whole reason we made a table there before we make a pivot table is to make it easier to modify and edit later on. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a pivot table. So how do we do that? We click on insert and we choose pivot table. Okay, there's a couple different options here. We can choose the name of it. I'm just going to leave it as the default. It defaulted to table three. Uh, next thing is if you want to um, get data for your pivot table from an external source, you would click here and then you would click choose connection and you would go in and choose that appropriate path. Okay, whether it's a database or whatever it is. Uh, the next thing you would do is choose where you want the pivot table to re be replaced. The default is a new worksheet, probably the best bet, and that way you keep it nice and clean on its own worksheet. Or you can choose existing worksheet. Okay, so I'm going to say OK. And what it did, you see, it's just a generic blank pivot table at this point. Now I can go over here and I can choose items to put in, uh, categories to put in the pivot table. So in this case, I can check the um, item or I can drag it down into the appropriate uh, area. So for example if I want to put model under row labels I can click model and I can hide, I can hold down the mouse and drag it down and it will put it in there automatically. You notice all it did was check the box there. Okay. Another option is to click price. Okay so now what, what I've done automatically is I have is I have um, summarized by salesperson the model they sold and the total value of the of the uh, sales prices of those vehicles okay um, some of the other data you, pr you know you can add it or not add it right so new used HRID probably doesn't make a lot of sense here for a summary report uh, another thing you can do is you can filter the data for example if I want to filter under model I can highlight model click the little pull down and I can uncheck select all and choose accord and you see what will happen it'll show just the accord sales to revert that to flip that back I just go back and choose select all another thing you can do is you can choose a report filter so in this case we'll do something similar to what we just did and we'll move the model down into the report filter and you'll notice what happened it put this I put the model up here actually on the worksheet itself and now what I can do is click um, over here and choose Civic as an example show me all the salespeople who have sold Civics and show me how much the total value was likewise I can do the same thing if I'm trying to get a report of all the warranties I can choose warranty and I can see that two salespeople sold warranties of this value okay I'm gonna go back and leave it at all Another important thing I want to show you is when you update data in your original table, it doesn't it does not autom automatically update uh, you know dynamically. So over here, one of the reasons why we made this a table before we've made a pivot table is it makes it easy to expand it. So how do we expand a table? We go to the last the bottom right cell of the active table, hit tab, and it created a new they created a new um, new row and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say that 
Foreman sold an Accord. And just to show you, obviously it's not $100,000 in Accord, but anyways, I just want to show you that. That way um, you'll see that the pivot table does not dynamically expand. Okay, so I'm going to save that or dynamically update. So I'm going to go back to the pivot table and you'll notice that Foreman has 190. I'm going to go and choose, I'm going to do the model. I'm going to choose Accord, say OK, and Foreman has $61,100 of, of Accord sales. So you'll notice we just added $100,000 in that column. So how do we get it to update? We can do it a couple different ways. We can go to Pivot Table Tools. You'll notice it automatically inserts that up top here, and you can choose Refresh. And you'll notice right here under Refresh, you have an option to do Alt plus F5. So either way you want to do it, you can either hit Alt F5 or you can go here under the pivot table tools and say refresh. Okay, so I'm going to do that now and you notice what happened. It just added $100,000 to that total. Okay, and I think that was all I really wanted to show you today. Um, go ahead and uh, subscribe and if you're interested in Excel tutorials and I'm going to add many more uh, going forward and if you have suggestions, go ahead and send them to me or drop a comment out there. Thanks for listening. Bye.